Hello my lovely Trails fans, welcome to our next episode of Trails in the Sky. Um, so I'm finally over my cold, as you might be able to tell, my voice probably sounds a little deeper, but at least now I don't have to uh, pause the video every, well not pause the video, but mute myself every 15 seconds so I can uh, cough, splutter and die into the microphone. Anyway, we are going into Hotel Blanche. So we can uh, finish up these side quests in Ruan. Our hotel's room service extends to taking orders from local dining establishments. One of our proud services is to allow you to enjoy the offerings from local eateries leisurely in your own room. Just a bit ago, we received an order from Mr. Norman from for the Lavantar, in fact. It seems it was lunch for the campaign staff. Oh, hello. Hello. Hello, uh? Ah, you guys. I heard from Dorothy that you guys solved our little ghost problem. Yeah, we did, but is Dorothy okay? She was yammering on drowsily about what happened. Once she was finished, she conked right out, so I had to put her to bed. <laughs> well, a heck of a lot happened last night and she saved our skins. I can't blame her for being kind of tired. Let her rest, okay? Huh. A real reporter can go a good week without sleep when he's got a scoop. Oh yeah, some of the stuff she was talking about sounded wild, but she didn't really explain it all. Mind if I ask you guys a few questions? Sure, go ahead. Estelle gave Niall an outline of their encounter with Blue Blanc and answered his questions. Alright, I think I get it now. Son of a Phantom Thief B himself is in La Belle. And he's one of those Ouroboros people? Kinda wish I hadn't heard that. What? Niall, you know about the masked weirdo? Oh yeah, he's a famous thief who's caused a stir in every major city on the continent. If he wants something, he'll get it. And he always steals things with a big old show. For a phantom, he's got a love of drama, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds like our weirdo, alright. He even admitted he's phantom... The Phantom Thief B from those cards, so... Like I said though, thievery is one thing, but he's also a lackey of the society. Wouldn't think Ouroboros would have use for someone like him, but at the same time, if they do, it's... terrifying. Niall, I'm curious. Do you intend to write an article about what happened? Nah, the guild and the royal army asked me not to report on anything to do with the society. I'll probably end up writing about someone's ill-intended crime of pleasure or something. With the coup d'etat foiled, the kingdom is beginning to settle. I do see the wisdom in this. There is little sense in terrifying the populace with news of a dangerous secret society just yet. Yeah, I ain't happy about it as a reporter, but I guess I see where the government is coming from. Still, if anything else happens, tell me about it, yeah? Of course. Anyway, we're off for Zeiss. Alright. I've got a draft I need to write up, so I can't see you off, but want me to wake Dorothy? No, it's okay. She's fast asleep, and I'd hate to disturb her. Give her our best when she gets up, okay? Will do. Be careful, guys. If anything else crops up, let me know. Later. Mm, so cute. Wow. She's a noisy sleeper. So, oh, I just realized something. That Phantom Thief B guy. He's the guy who stole the candle breath that we had to go and find out where that was. Wow. For now, I've taken on a part-time job to help with the election. I've just started, but I guess things are going okay. Thankfully, my dad's too busy to have much time to worry about me, it seems like. However the election turns out, I'll be on the job here. That's how it's been until now, and it ain't gonna change. Hey, you guys. Huh, <sighs> huh. 
Y your braces, right? Yeah, there's something wrong. You look kind of frazzled. Th there's something I'd like you to investigate urgently. Could you come right now? Yeah, no problem. Thanks, I owe you. So, where should we go? Head to Norman's election office. It's on the top floor of the hotel. Here, I'll show you the way. I'm telling you, I didn't do it. Hurry up and let me go home. I've got work to do. Now, now, calm down. Just bear with us until the braces arrive. Once their investigation's done, you can leave. Speak of the devil. See, here they are. That sure was fast, Hero. Yeah, I looked out and ran into some braces right away. This is Norman. I'm sure you've seen him on posters around the city. One of the guys running for mayor, I think. I'm Estelle Bright of the Bracer Guild. A gate crossner, also a bracer. Let's get to business. What happened? One of our campaigners, Dells, was injured by someone. In other words, it's an assault case. An assault? Well, that's never a nice thing to hear. Is the victim okay? Yes, he's still here. He was unconscious for a bit, but it was, thankfully, nothing serious. Phew, good to hear it. There's nothing good about it. The back of my head still hurts like you wouldn't believe. The back of your head, huh? Where you attacked from behind? Yes, ma'am. Right out the blue, too. I was taking a breather on the balcony, and all of a sudden from behind, thud. That's pretty foul. Ouch. Sounds nasty. When did the attack happen? Give us whatever you can remember about the events before and after. Sure, it happened today just after lunch. Norman and I were checking out a potential location for a speech by the bridge. Cooper here had just turned up then. When I talked to him, he said he had some important business with Norman. What kind of business? Portos told me to come apologise for that mess on the bridge. It's not like it's all my fault, but I did sort of make it worse. I see. So you came to say sorry for the scuffle? Yes, but Norman was still very busy at the time. We'd asked Cooper to wait in the office area. That's when I showed him to this room. I returned to the hotel not too long afterward. I entered the room with Hiro, um, who had been waiting outside the office, and... There was Dells, unconscious, on the balcony. And Cooper was right there. Standing over him. I'm trying to tell you, why does that make me the criminal? He was already out cold when I'd reached the balcony. I understand what Cooper is saying. It's only natural to suspect him, given the circumstances. There was no one in this room except Cooper and Dells. Is that true? After I brought Cooper, I was on watch outside the door. No one entered until Norman got here. No matter how you look at it, that means these two were alone. You're sure? Y yeah, it's true, but it's like I said. When I went out to the balcony, Dells was already on the ground. So you're saying the crime was committed before you got there. Am I getting that right? Yeah, exactly. Ah, oh, thank adios. Finally, there's someone who gets it. In that case, it'd have to be someone who entered the room before Cooper. Dells, do you remember anything? It's possible that somebody came in. People go in and out of the office all the time, though. Even if someone had, I wouldn't have thought much of it. Fair enough. It's an election office, so that makes sense. Hmm. Sounds simple enough, at least. The criminal's got to be one of two people. This guy here, or someone who came into the room before him. We should be able to narrow it down if we get enough proof. Think we ought to start questioning? If there's no other useful information, yeah. If you guys noticed anything else or are thinking of something, tell us now. Even if it seems like nothing important. Alright, then I have one more thing I'd like to add. There was something that occurred to me as I was looking through the room after the incident. Were there signs it being rummaged around him? Not at all, just the opposite in fact. It actually felt like it was cleaner than before. Huh? Is a serial cleaner on the loose? Hmm, one way to interpret it would be as a disguise to hide the fact that the room had been searched. 
Of course, it appears they went too far, inadvertently arousing suspicion in the process. That's not a bad train of thought. Incidentally, who are you? <laughs> I was waiting for that question. I am a travelling bard, a poetic soul wandering the wilds, a genius mute. Sure, but if nothing's been stolen, then isn't the idea that it's a disguise pretty weak? At this stage, I don't think there's any point in worrying about the motive. I agree. Uh, uh, you've grown even bolder since our last rendezvous, Estelle. Your training at Laloco was most fruitful. You're simply stunning. Uh, Olivia... Just ignore him. Now, if there's nothing else here you can tell us, we should get to questioning. Y yeah Well, seems she knows when to shorten the leash now. Good luck with the investigation. We'll come report once we have an answer. Good. We're counting on you to get to the bottom of this. Now, how should we go about things? I mean, this hotel is pretty big. We should probably split into two groups. You and the princess make some rounds while I keep an eye on this idiot. These two are our assistants, yeah? Let's make him assist. Good point. Ready to kick some investigation butt, Chloe? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Assisting companions is only natural for a hunter of love. You sure don't miss a beat, do you? Alright, listen up. We need to gather information on the suspect first. If you go around asking about Cooper, something should turn up. If you end up getting a picture on who our guy is, come tell me. So once we've found the criminal, go report to you. No problem. Let's go see what we can find out. Alrighty, so investigation time. Let's start with Cooper. I'll say it as many times as you like. I only found Dells. If we'd been fighting, someone would have heard a sound. But no one said anything, did they? Of course they didn't, because I was politely seated on the sofa. Okay, so I do have notes of how to make sure that you do this right. A sound? I didn't really hear anything. When Cooper came to the hotel, I was in the lobby. I don't know. He looked angry, I guess. I thought something might happen. And then, just like I thought, something happened. I was angry? Huh, that's crazy. If you're gonna say that, Hirio's attitude was way worse than mine, I think. The moment he saw me, he made this real nasty face. Try asking around about Hirio. I bet you'll turn up some dirt. Him and Dell's are rivals competing to be the number two in Norman's camp. I'm sure they couldn't come to terms and ended up in a tussle. You doubt even Hirio? He isn't the kind of person to resort to violence. Hirio is a most loyal man. He would never commit such a criminal act. Oh? Are you done questioning in the office? Yeah, we're done. How's it going on your end? It's going okay, I guess. I'm still checking out stuff. Just don't slack off. Leave it to me. You, you still doubt Herio? It's impossible for him to be the criminal. What, what is it? What's on your mind? If you're hiding something, you should spit it out. Trying to hide things only bites you in the butt most of the time. I'm sorry. I feel like talking? Yes, actually. I saw him. I saw Hirio on the second floor. When was that? Right after lunch. Hirio went out with Norman, but... However, shortly after that, Hirio came back and ran up to the second floor. Well, that's kind of important to know. Estelle, you go after this lead. We're going to check around here for a bit longer. Got it. Uh, let's see, should we 
lunch, about lunch. I went to eat at the Lavantar today. Always been in the habit of going out to lunch as soon as I hear the bell toll. The bell toll? The bell on the Langland Bridge? Remember it rang when the bridge went up. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, it did ring. It always rings at certain times, see? I use it to place- I use it in place of a clock. That's sure convenient. Kinda big to use in a place of a clock, though. Hey, Estelle? It might be good to ask some people about the bell toll. Huh? Why? They should be able to clearly remember the sound of the bell ringing. It might act as a guidepost for their memory, like with Mr. Murray. Ah, I get it. Nice, Chloe. Very intellectual advice. <laughs> you flatter me. Not sure what you two are giggling about, but glad I was able to help. You sure were. Okay, let's go ask around. Right. The noon bridge bell? Yes, at the time I was preparing the guest rooms. Once that was finished, I next organised the utensils. Someone had cleaned the plates in the office, so I was able to finish work quickly. The office plates were cleaned? So that means there was someone who went into the office after lunch? Indeed. While I was preparing the guest rooms, they cleaned up, it seems. The plates were stacked to the front. Of course, exactly which kind guest it was, I couldn't say, unfortunately. Ah, too bad. Guess we'll have to ask around ourselves. Oh, a sound. Hmm? Thinking about it, I did hear a loud noise from above. Above from here? You mean the balcony? Probably around there, yeah. It was an impressive sound, like something had run into something else with a smack. Can't recall exactly when I'd heard it, though. That's too bad. Still, this is all good stuff to know. Thanks, sir. It was the Langland Bridge Bell. We citizens of Ruin hear it on a daily basis, I'll have you know. Speaking of the sound of a bell, did you remember something? No, you. You asked about it a second ago, didn't you? That big sound? Ah, the sound, like something smacking into something, right? Yeah, that thing. Well, I remember something now. That sound happened as if it were time to the bell, at least to my ears. Time to the bell. So basically, you heard the sound of the bell at roughly the same time as that big sound. Well, if you want to make it sound all boring, yeah. If, if that sound was something caused by the criminal, then someone without an alibi when the bell rang is the criminal. Yeah, we should check out people we suspect. When did the bridge bell ring? It went off when Hiro and I were checking out the speech site together. Hiro was there too? Yes, he was already there. Just as the bell was ringing, Cooper showed up. I then asked Hiro to show him to the hotel. I see, then it's sure. So then, Estelle. There's no connection between the sound Murray heard and Hiro. Yeah, not just Hiro, but Cooper seems in the clear too. The sound Murray heard was just after the bell finished ringing, but both men can prove they were with Norman at the time. In other words, whoever made that sound was neither Hiro nor Cooper. This virtually eliminates any chance of them being the criminal. Who could have done it? All I know is that they were clean while I was away. So, you don't know either, sir? I'm afraid not. I don't know who it was, but I worry that I may have left them a terrible impression. Pardon? What do you mean? In truth, I haven't had much of an appetite lately. I left quite a lot of the paella I got for lunch uneaten. I'd requested that Ernest get me one of the special paellas in secret, yet left it virtually untouched. It's embarrassing to think back on how wasteful that was. I see. It must be really stressful to be running in an election. Come on, why would I lie about something like that? I was in the hotel basement, so I didn't notice at all. Oh, 
I went to the Laventar for lunch today. I've always been in the habit of going out to lunch as soon as I hear the bell toll. Sounds like a nice enough routine. You have to go through the hotel to get there though, right? Yep, that I do. I can't fly across the sea now, can I? <laughs> Good point. So did you see anyone in the hotel at the time? Well, Ernest was on the first floor, of course, but the rest was real quiet. Huh? There was no one there? Yeah, I'd say so. The basement and first floor were both pretty quiet when I'd passed through. Norman's son was there when I came back, though. Norman's son. Norman's... Oh, you mean Belden? Yeah, that's more than enough. No, no, it was nothing. Who cleaned up the dishes in the office? Dunno, I wouldn't go to that much trouble. I've been killing time in the hotel basement after lunch. Were you really in the basement the whole time? What? Wh why? There's someone who passed through the basement right after the bell rang. According to their testimony, no one was here. Th th that can't be right. I was right here the whole time. So he can't establish an alibi. Just in case, we should probably ask up around about Belden too. Probably want to speak to Norman again, I think, about the bell toll. Okay, so we already spoke to him. about the bell tile. Uh, oh yeah, we need to ask Belden about his lunch. After I ate lunch on the first floor, I was in the basement the whole time. C come on, why would I lie about something like that? Still, you know what? My dad's pretty unfair. He feeds us normal boring stuff, then gets a special paella just for himself. Oh, wait a sec. What? What is it this time? Did I say something weird? No, it's just... Hey, Belden? You said you ate lunch on the first floor, right? Y yeah that's right. What about it? Norman ate on the second floor. How did you know what Norman ate when you were on the first floor? Uh-oh, uh, that? I saw it afterwards, obvi. Uh... Uh, sorry. My bad. Yeah, actually, I heard from someone else. I don't remember who said it, though. M maybe you should I investigate that next. That's so obviously suspicious. Yeah, I think uh, Belden is a... Uh, probably the one who's ended up doing this. Yes, we ordered lunch today from the Laventar. I don't want my campaigners getting sick of eating the same food again and again, so I thought we'd try something different. Wow, it's nice of you to do that. That's as much a part of politics as the campaign itself. <laughs> Indeed it is. I'll admit my nerves have been on edge for some time now. It hasn't been easy to keep my eyes on everything day in and day out. I'm sorry to hear that. Yikes, that does sound pretty rough. Putting that aside, sir, what did you do after lunch? After lunch, Hiro and I immediately went to examine the place my speech is to be held at. Hiro had some other business to attend to first and met up with me at the site. So you left right after lunch and met up with Hiro outside. Alright, that's all I need to hear. I'm happy to have helped. Keep up the good work, you two. I think it's time to report it. Got a mark? So who's your suspect? Uh, the answer is Belden, the Raven Kid, huh? You got some proof, right? First, explain the reason you discounted the original suspect. Uh, he has a solid alibi. Cooper was outside when the sound was heard. Norman's testimony corroborates this, so we can say for sure it's accurate. 
if that was the sound of the crime being committed, then there's a very small chance Cooper is the criminal. I see. And at the same time, we can also throw out any suspicion of Hiro. Yeah, it does. Hiro met up with Norman, so we're sure. Next, you need to explain the suspect's crime. What kind of proof do you have? That he has no alibi. The proof is his alibi. I have valuable testimony that refutes his alibi. Cooper and Hero have already been cleared as the culprits, so... This person remains as the final possibility. Yeah, by process of elimination, it does turn out that way. Ultimately, though, that's nothing but circumstantial evidence. Do you have any more decisive proof? He knew about the special paella. I don't know if it's decisive, but something did bother me, and that's the testimony about the special paella. Oh, and what's that? Yeah, so Belden testified that he ate lunch on the first floor, but somehow he saw the paella Norman ate. He even knew that Norman barely ate it. In other words, he went to the second floor. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Alright, I get it. Let's call Belden in and hear what he's got to say. We can't go straight to an arrest with the proof we have on hand. Uh, okay. Got it. What? Why did you call me? I didn't do anything. Now, calm down. Nothing's been decided here. If you help us with the investigation, you can go home right away. H help? Yeah, we just want to be frank. I ju we just want you to be frank with us. Where did you go after lunch? But like I said, I was in the basement. Bull. As long as you keep lying, you're not getting out of here. Uh... You weren't in the basement the whole time. We already know that. If you didn't do anything wrong, then just be honest and tell the truth. Or is the truth too scary to admit? Gah. F fine. I'll talk. Today, after lunch, I... I went to the office. I went to go clean up. Clean up? So the person who returned the plates to the front was... Yeah, it was me. Everyone seemed busy, so I figured I'd clean up. While I was cleaning up, I thought I'd tidied the office, but... Uh, I didn't think that'd happen. Huh? But hold on, you're not making sense. You just cleaned up after, right? Why does that have anything to do with the case? I've got an idea. Y yeah? Actually... I see. I understand Belden came to this room to clean, but I'm not sure how that correlates. What does that have to do with the assault in Dells? It has a lot to do with it. Well, let's hear him say it himself. Hey, go tell him. Y yeah Well, once I finished cleaning the room, I thought I'd head back. But since I'd tidied up a lot of stuff, the room was real dusty. I thought I'd open the balcony door to air it out, but my hands were full of plates. I... I didn't have any choice, so I, um, kicked the door as hard as I could. Wait, you mean the door? Yep, it's exactly what you think. That door is the criminal that knocked out Dells. The door flying open slammed right into the back of your head. In other words, the truth of the case is an unlucky accident. What? So then, I'm innocent, right? Seems like it. Phew, man oh man, finally free and clear. Still, what a mess. Why didn't you volunteer this information at the beginning? If you just told us the truth, things wouldn't have gone nearly this far. I, I'm sorry. Come on, he's telling the truth now. Give him a break, okay? You had the courage to talk about it in the end, so everything worked out. As the victim here, i just like to forgive and forget. It's already clear that this was all a misunderstanding. Of course, I'd like him to be a bit more careful opening doors in the future, if he could. Dells, I'm really sorry. And you too, Cooper. You almost got turned into a criminal. You don't need to worry about me. I'm in the clear and that's good enough for me. Well, that settles things. Thank goodness. Also, Belden... Whatever you decide to do in life, know that the decision is yours and yours alone. I know you can do it. 
R really? Yeah, make sure you keep it up. Well, that's our report. Braces, I'm sorry for today. It seems we've taken up a great deal of your time over just a big mistake. No, don't worry about it. This is part of the job too. Well then, we're off. Thank you guys, so much. Really, I'm very sorry. Take care. Well, glad we got that sorted. You, well that's done and over with, finally. I wouldn't have dreamed it would end up like that though. Truth is always stranger than fiction. However, as your valued assistant, I take great pride in our completion of this most puzzling assignment. You didn't do a darn thing. Oh, but I really appreciate your help, Chloe. You gave me a ton of good advice. It was a big help during the investigation. I'm always happy to help. There's no need to thank me though, Estelle. Right, I guess you two are our support staff already, aren't you? Yep, we'll have you do what needs to be done. Okay, let's get going. Next up is the Zeiss region. Racers, thank you so much for your efforts today. As a representative of our hotel, allow me to offer our gratitude for resolving the case. I hope you will stay at our hotel on any visits to Ruan. Our owner and employees all sincerely await your patronage. Ah, braces. Good work back there. Honestly, I was relieved to hear there was no criminal. Oh, braces. Wonderful work today. If you had resolved things, our position would have only grown deeper. Well then, I hope you will strive even harder in your work for the sake of the people. Firstly, I think not enough consideration has been given to the people who have contributed to the harbour. To ensure no further misunderstandings happen, I intend to keep an open line of communication with them at all times. Well, that's good. Hello everyone, thank you again. Couldn't have asked for a more capable team. Still, we are most certainly jumping to conclusions by doubting Cooper. I've got to apologise to him about all this when I get a chance. But I guess we should go uh, across the bridge now and see how everyone's doing over there. I was trying to look for the right time and to talk about it, but things got kind of out of hand and I got more and more scared. Even I know it's pathetic. Anyway, I'm going to be helping with the election. I'll start there to change myself. Did you find the criminal? Well, we uncovered the truth, but the truth is there was no criminal. What do you mean? Estelle explained that the crime was actually just an unfortunate accident. Huh, I see. Well, that sure would make for no criminal. Think you can make an article? Nah, probably not. There's no real case here, so there's no point in putting it in the paper. Ah, bummer. Well, I hope you don't take it hard, and if anything else comes up, contact me. Well then, I got a draft I need to work on. Ah, gotcha. We'll see you again sometime. Oh ho, solved the case, did you? Good, good. Alrighty, let's go across the bridge, see how everyone over here is doing. Hey, braces, thanks for your help back there. I almost got pinned as a criminal. However, it's about time both camps reconciled already. At this rate, there's going to be another happening. Portos has kept the harbour going for many years, after all. If he becomes mayor, I'm sure he'll support the harbour with all his power. Phew, I'll take a quick break and then get back to yelling. Call in all voters. Vote for mayoral candidate Portos, please. Vote for Portos, who will breathe new life into the harbour, please. I wonder if those guys in the warehouse even care about the election. Don't they know they're out on the asses if Norman becomes mayor? Did I buy all his meals? I guess I did. Oh yeah, I heard the Ravens were in this year's martial arts competition. I even saw a picture of them in the LaBelle news, but instead of making something out of themselves, they're back to bumming around the warehouse as usual. They went all that way to fight in the martial arts competition, only to come back to bumming around the warehouse. Those kids don't have a lick of ambition. 
We've got to let those folks on the other side of the bridge know about all the problems with the harbour. They may think it's got nothing to do with them, but they'll be singing a different tune if Norman wins. We've got to let those... Yep, nothing new. We need to start putting more effort into campaigning on the north side of the city. We'll never get those who believe in expanding tourism to understand our cause without getting the word out. It's not that we're against expanding the tourism industry, far from it even. But think, we had virtually no funds to help run the harbour with our last mayor. We need to better balance our budget. The logic behind my campaign is clear enough, and yet we're still having trouble coming to an understanding. We need to start putting more effort into campaigning. Maybe they could enter into some kind of partnership? Cooper apparently went to apologise over that uproar. He was sure as heck fanning the flames, but there's not a fault on both sides. Well, the one who sent him to apologise was Boss Portos, though. When I went out a bit ago, Roko was behind the warehouse. He was all quiet, swinging his weapon at the air. When Roko starts doing training like that, nothing good's coming. I wonder what the heck Roko's doing. He said he was gonna go move around and hasn't come back yet. Lately Roko's been acting real weird. It might be time to get out if this keeps up. I ain't doing some pain in the butt election stuff. Though if you were gonna give me some mirror, I'd think about it. What a mercenary. Belden's been turning up at his dad's office lately. Stranger things have happened, I guess. <laughs> O'Neill gave me some extra change. Of course I just stayed quiet and took it. Really, I'm such a bad guy. <laughs> That Belden. He said he's helping out with the election. I wonder if Roko and the others are angry. Maybe Roko's finally deciding to do something with his life. Hmm. Huh. Not enough. I guess at some point I'll go off and see how he's doing on the front lines. I've gotta go and make sure to kick some fire into him, or he'll start giving up too easily, I'm sure. Phew, my stomach's telling me it's about time for food. Guess I'll peek into the kitchen later. Once the next mayor is decided, the mansion will once again belong to the citizens of Ruan. Doesn't matter which candidate wins, he'll be the first commoner to become mayor. I wonder if the remnants of the old noble rule will continue to be wiped away like this. Once the next... Uh, we also desire that a worthy person reside here. Hmm, a wonderful smell wafted over from the kitchen. The cook's meals here are absolutely amazing. Thanks to that, my belt started to get real tight. Man, the grub they serve here is too good. Your time is like heaven. If I end up getting posted here permanently, I'm just gonna get fatter and fatter. Oh, Dominique, now you're off searching for a new job. With even you doing that, I'm starting to worry a bit. I want to work at this mansion, but... I guess it's not going to happen. Today's menu is chicken teriyaki with a twist of orange. It's a special dish of mine using eastern cooking techniques with my own take on it. Alright, I should start getting ready for lunch. I've got a real great plan planned. I've got a great meal planned tonight for the soldiers, one of my best. tailoring my future job plans based on the outcome of the election. 
If Norman wins, I'll go into the tourism industry, and if Potter wins, I'll look to work at the Harbour Bar. <laughs> a perfect re-employment plan. I'll be tailoring my future job plans based on the outcome of the election. Okay. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video um, to one of the checkpoints so we can chat with the people over there, and I will see you soon. Oh, I did just realise there are a few people here to speak to, first of all, so let's go ahead and do that. There used to be a lot more energy here too. You'd see stands and little stalls all over. The kids in the harbour are all working hard for this election, it seems, but I suppose we'll never see that again. My brother started working. It sounds like he's helping out our dad. My son Belden has apparently been off helping at my husband's office. He hated it so much before, I wonder why he suddenly decided to help. Okay, and this time I will cut the video over to the next checkpoint. Well, here we are, so let's see how everyone here is doing. Working hard as ever, I see. You guys have a heck of a long way long way to end up out here. You taking a detour while hunting a wanted monster or something? Lately there have been more dangerous mon monsters than usual. That's our problem though. You guys should relax and take a load off. So there was a member of a criminal organisation hiding on the Royal Academy's grounds, huh? Seems like this case is way more complicated than we thought. Why is the commander at the counter, you ask? Well, a lot's happened. Nix is off duty, so I'm on watch. Ugh, can't say I get why, but it's all part of the job, so whatever. I'm on watch today, which makes me wonder who's handling customs downstairs. Seems like the commander is doing the customs checks himself for a change. <laughs> now ain't this a sight, maybe I'll go jeer at him later. I do own that one at least. Hey, I haven't heard the details, but where did you guys solve the ghost mess? Today I'm suddenly off shift too, so it's been a lot of good news. I'm not really sure why, but for some reason I'm the only one on break. So I thought I'd have myself a little drink. I feel like I can focus on my reading more than normal here. Perhaps because the sound of the water echoing from a distance is so nice. Hey, welcome. We're totally empty around here right now, so feel free to spend the night. I was really too busy during the birthday celebrations. Thinking back on it now, though, it's nicer when it's busy. Hey, it seems like you solved that case. Still, to think a member of that criminal organisation was hiding in the Royal Academy. It's a surprise to think that ghost sighting would lead to this. Seems that case has somehow been resolved. I still have a lot of misgivings about the whole thing, but for now, let me say good work. Well, that's everyone at this checkpoint spoken to, so off to the next destination. Alrighty, and here we are at the Royal Academy to catch up with everyone. The art club's scheduled to do some sketching together today, but no one's here. Am I early? This place is pretty empty. Is that guy the only person we can speak to? Phew, thank goodness. I'll be able to stay in Bose for a little while before heading home. It won't be long, but I should have enough time to enjoy the sights of the city a bit. This is thanks to Re Rihanna negotiating with my family back in the Empire. I'll be able to stay in Bose for a little while before going home. Rihanna has some good parts. Felicity believes I've obtained permission from her home, but actually, this trip back was always intended to be a journey to Bose. There's a restaurant there, as well as airships to and from the Empire, so... It truly is perfect as a site for an arranged wedding meeting with a member of the Imperial Nobility. Do keep this a secret. 
The other part of this engagement meeting will be a youth of imperial nobility. Apparently he is interested in the young lady after hearing that she is a progressive woman of many talents residing abroad. Ooh. Arranged marriages. That's how the nobility do it though, isn't it? When I was making my rounds through the schoolhouse yesterday, I found a male student hiding in a classroom. He just popped out of nowhere like a darn ghost. I was so surprised I thought I'd die right there. Really, there's all sorts who attend this school. Oh, there's that guy who was hanging around the school at night. What a strange individual. Alright, club's starting again today. Guess it's time to reforge some slackers. Where are the boys at? Oh, there's one there. Have fun wasting time on club activities. Meanwhile, I'll be racing to the top of the class with my studies. At the end of the day, club activities are of no worth whatsoever. Students are here to study, study, and study some more, that's all. And it's at recreation as well. It teaches you other valuable skills which you can't learn from a book. Did I get all her meals? Yes, I did. Phew, school should be in break soon. Knowing vacation is near always makes the students brighten up. What's up? If you're looking for Jill, she went off somewhere. She said she had some student council stuff to do. If you're... Okay. I just heard the juiciest rumour. Okay, so they're saying there was someone suspicious hiding out in the old schoolhouse, right? How exciting. It's like something straight out of a novel. It's probably not the best thing to be excited about, but if it does fire up the imagination. Sounds super scary, but also exciting. I heard that you'll be going on break, Chloe. I was looking forward to our match too. It's a shame. I'm sorry, Roy. I'll make it up to you when I get back. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. I'll be training between now and then, so you better watch out. My match with Chloe will have to wait until after break is over. But I'll be training between now and then, so she better watch out. Clubs start up again today. Woo. I gotta get ready early so I can nab a good spot. I'm kinda worried my skills with the bow have gotten rusty over the exam period. Chloe? Chloe? Uh, I'm so sad. I thought we'd both work together at club. I'm sorry, Rochelle. We'll practice hard together once break is over. Oh, alright. I'll train my butt off until then, okay? <laughs> I can't wait. Aw, oh, goodbyes are so depressing. The overall state of the exams is very good. The students must have worked very hard. Alright, grading is finally complete. Our class did pretty well this time. Just a tiny more to go until we can beat Viola's class. Our class did pretty well this time. That surprise test sure did the trick. I've got music practice soon. It's almost time to meet up, but some people haven't come yet. Even Argyle's made it on time. Logic sure is late. Maybe I should go on ahead to practice. Apparently someone was hiding in the old schoolhouse. Maybe that's what caused this whole ghost fuss. <laughs> Hello there, Chloe. I believe you're already going off on vacation, yes? Take care and do enjoy your time off. The Dean left a while ago. He said something about business he needed to attend to. <laughs> Classes end today. Thinking that we'll be on vacation soon means we can take it easy on the studying. Ah, before vacation we get our test back, right? I don't think I want to see mine. I've heard rumours about the case. There was some suspicious person in the old schoolhouse, right? 
Still, why the heck would anyone be hiding out there? Totally bizarre, if you ask me. Oh yeah, I heard you were taking vacation early, Chloe. I'll be working on my swordsmanship as best as I can, so... I hope that you're up for a duel once vacation's over. Sure, I'd like that. A private tutor, and for the entrance exams on top of that? Are you really okay with accepting that kind of responsibility? Why'd you say yes so easily? You can't take it back now, so no point in getting scared at this point. I got roped into tutoring my neighbour over break. It's for his entrance exams too. Man, the pressure's on. Being a tutor's a big deal, especially if it's for the entrance exams. If I screw up, I screw him over too, you know? Yeah, it was easy enough to accept at the time, but now I'm freaking out. Oh, you'll be fine. Ah, Chloe, I thought you left ages ago. Make sure to come back bright and cheery again once vacation is over. Understood? Promise? Yes, I promise. You take care too, Miss Viola. Yes, do spend your vacation effectively. Make sure to come back bright and cheery again once vacation is over. Well then, I pray you spend your vacation effectively. Heard you'll be heading off on vacation early, Chloe. Yes, I thought about it a bit, and that's what I decided. I'll see you all next after vacation ends. I pray that we'll meet again in good health. I intend to go off and help with the election myself. Alright, see you when school's back on. Well, time to get to club. I'm sure everyone's getting impatient. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and skip things until we get to the next destination. Alrighty, Mercy Orphanage. Let's see how all of the kids are doing. If I can find them, this place is abandoned. The door is locked. Huh, I wonder where they all went. Strange. Oh well, we're right next to the village, so let's go in the village. Maybe uh, somebody there will comment on where those kids went. Hopefully they went somewhere nice. Let's so double check we've got all of the different meals as well. I don't think we sell any here. Though. What matters most in an election is the candidate's character. As long as you don't mistake that, everything is fine. We failed at that last time, so this time we've got to be very clear on that point. I'll be voting for the first time in this election. I intend to vote after carefully considering the candidate's character. I was just a child last time, so for me this election is my first one. It wasn't me. Estelle, this man is the Dalmore family butler. Yeah, it's him alright. Hmm, so it is. Uh, th that that wasn't me. The me the maid saw wasn't that. Uh, Daryl wasn't me. Uh, uh. What's he talking about? Yeah, I don't think he's kidding. Uh. What the maids in the mansion saw th that Daryl wasn't me. Uh. Is that guess really Dalmore's former butler? If so, maybe I should contact the manor and have someone come pick him up. He's so drunk, there's no way he can get home on his own. Oh, but the mayoral residence isn't Dalmore's anymore. So who do I contact then? My inn's hosting the voting area for this upcoming election. I owe everyone so much, so it's my little way of giving back. My next deal is in bows. I still have quite some time before the next liner comes, however. Might as well kill some time in Ruan since I'm in the area. Perhaps I should depart early. I hope I can go to Sunday school again soon. I'm playing outside lots with Polly. From 
promote the tourism industry or maintain the harbour. Realistic politics are so black and white. That's what my father says. Oh, that looked new. As my father said, this isn't an easy decision. Norman and Portos are both commoners, but they are also both great people. The old elections used to be reserved for nobility, but it seems the times have changed. The nobleman who was the previous mayor was arrested and commoner candidates are competing to take up after him. This election almost seems like it represents the changing of an age. Oh yeah, I wonder how old Vogt is doing. Feels like I haven't seen him lately. He's getting on in his years, so maybe I should check up on him from time to time. My little brother apparently wants to have a job that helps out the town. He jumped at the chance to help rebuild the orphanage, so I can believe it. If you could find such work, I'm sure he'd put his back into it. Okay, next destination, the lighthouse. And here we are. Wonder who will be the next mayor. Personally, I'm hoping Portos wins. Man's got a good head on his shoulders. Portos knows how important this lighthouse is. I think I can trust him to find me a proper successor. Okay, last destination, the checkpoint. Here we are, our final destination for the today's episode. Hello there. That must have been quite the trip to make it out this far. By the way, we did get word from the guild about what happened at the academy. Another suspicious individual, probably a member of some criminal organization, was hiding on the old grounds. One disaster after another, isn't it? No rest for heroes, I suppose. Officer Sir Rose is on kitchen duty today. Lucky. I wonder what he's going to make. Oh man, now I can't wait for dinner. Oh, that was new. I'm so happy, I can't wait for dinner now. Well, not that new. Let's go get ourselves a free heal. Apparently, a member of a criminal organization infiltrated the Royal Academy. It's an organization that com that Command is evidently worried about. We're keeping an eye out, never fear. Oh, that was new. The Capuas, the ID insurrectionists, and now this Ouroboros. We can't let our guard down for a moment with these criminals. I know, they're coming out thick and thin. I mean, how long are we going to have to be on alert for? The cold really seeps into you when you go on night patrol. Man, I wish they'd hurry up and round up all those ID ter traitors already. Well, that's going to be the end of today's episode. A um, couple of things we'll have to do before we head on over to Zeiss. Uh, we just need to turn in those uh, last couple of jobs that we did. And I think that's pretty much it, actually. Um, so, yep, uh, I'll see you on the next episode. Don't forget to uh, like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the bell notification icon so you know whenever a new video comes out. And also feel free to head on over to my Twitter so you can stay up to date with any news for the channel. Thank you, I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye for now.